This video is going to show how I used Insteon components to set up a leak detection system around the house, such that when a leak is detected from one of these sensors, then the water is shut off to the house. Uh, for this system, I used Insteon leak sensors, so I have several of these throughout the house. Those leak sensors talk to an Insteon hub wirelessly, which I have connected to the internet. There's my router there. And then through the Insteon hub, it will send a signal when a leak is detected to an IO link. This is an Insteon product, this white box here. And then the IO link is what sends the signal to the water shutoff valve to actually shut off the water. On the right is uh, the Insteon app that I'll be showing to you in a demo here. So for the demo on the left hand side, you can see I have a leak sensor and I'm going to simulate a link, leak by setting it in this uh, tray of water here. So I'll start the demo so you can see and hear what happened. So you saw it set in there, you heard the water shut off, and at the same time in the uh, Insteon application, number one is what got triggered, leak sensor number one, you can see I have it labeled there, and then the IO link on the bottom you can see it went from red to white, meaning that the water is now off. And you can see that the water slowed to a trickle, and here after about a minute or so after that, it would be completely shut off. You can get all the components for the system online. Insteon makes the leak sensor, the hub, and the I.O. link. They do not make the shutoff valve. That's from a custom company, but I'll show you where I bought that. The leak sensors look like this are available either on Amazon or Insteon.com. Amazon seems to have a little better stock. Insteon.com sometimes has better deals, especially if you're a first-time buyer. They can have a 10 or 20% off coupon. You can see that these are pretty pricey. They do have six packs that sometimes can help you save a little bit of money. This is the biggest part of the cost. It's probably about half the cost is the leak sensors themselves. After leak sensors, you'll need a hub, so the leak sensor has something to talk to. And the hub you can either get on Amazon or Insteon.com, about 80 bucks. Lastly, you'll need an IO link and a shutoff valve. Uh, I recommend this package deal that a company called Innovative Home Systems sells. And they sell it as a package with the Insteon IO link, that's an Insteon product. But they make, or they supply the power supply and the water shutoff valve that is known to work with the Insteon, and they give you wiring instructions for it. See right here, and that seemed to work well for me. They also ship you a paper when they ship it with that on there. When you're choosing this, you'll need to choose the appropriate pipe size and material. For myself, I ended up with a three-quarter brass. That's what's shown here. That's because where I wanted to shut off the water was at my water softener input. So everything to the left, right here, where my mouse is, goes into the house, and my water input is here, so that's where it gets shut off in the event of a leak. And so in total, this project will probably cost uh, between three and four hundred dollars, with the leak sensors being the, the majority of the cost. When you have received everything, I recommend the first test that you do is test uh, that the leak sensor and the IO link can talk to the hub. So take your hub, plug in power and network, and then take a leak sensor and you're going to use the app to pair it. On iOS, the app that you want is called Insteon for Hub. I assume there's something similar for Android, haven't checked, but I assume so. It's important that you get this exact application. Insteon Plus does not work. As you can see, their apps could be better, two out of five stars, but it does seem to work okay for this purpose. Once you've downloaded Insteon for Hub and opened it, you're going to add a device, and you're going to add each leak sensor that you have. So I'm going to show an example of adding it, but not completely go through the process because mine are already paired. So I'll cancel out. In addition to the leak sensors, you'll also need to add an I.O. link. So go back to add a device. Make sure that your I.O. link is plugged in, and you're going to pair it as well, similar to the leak sensor. After you've verified that all of your leak sensors and I.O. link are here, you need to add a scene. A scene is what teaches that you need to turn off the IO link whenever a leak sensor uh, detects water. So to do that, you're going to go to scenes, you're going to go to add a scene, or create a scene. You'll see the devices, uh, for me, are 1 through 10, because that's what I named my uh, leak sensors. 
And then also, one of the devices is the I.O. link itself. I have already created a scene, so you can see what mine looks like. That, uh, that seems to work okay. So I'll go back to the scene that I created, and you can see that all of the leak sensors are listed along with the I.O. link. So the I.O. link is the responder, and all of the other leak sensors are controllers. So such that whenever the controller detects that uh, water has happened, then the responder is to go off for the I.O. link, which is to shut off the water. So at this point, that gets you to where you've created a scene and you can do some initial tests. Uh, if you don't have your I.O. link plugged in yet, you know, you can't do the complete test, but you can at least test that for each one of these leak sensors that it says that there's uh, a leak. The way you can simulate that is you just need contact between these two terminals right here and right here. So you can either, you know, wet your thumb and do that or stick it in a small tray of water. And for each one of them that you have, it should turn red whenever it detects a leak. In order to reset it, dry these off, make sure there's no contact between them. And then there's a button on the other side that you press, at which point the red should go away and it becomes white again. So when it comes time to connect your Insteon I.O. link and your shutoff valve, the first thing to do before you connect to the water is you want to connect the wire from the shutoff valve to the Insteon I.O. link. As you can see here, they're wired with a few different colors, but that's explained on the pamphlet that I had pulled up on InnovativeHomeSystems.com. There's a piece of paper that also comes with it. So you connect that first, and then after you've connected the wiring, you want to connect the shutoff valve itself. And so I ended up with a three-quarter brass. You can see that I used some Teflon tape and some pipe dope here. You'll need to decide for yourself where you're going to hook it up in your house. And after that, you should be able to uh, test it out. by On the side, there's a button that is a manual open and close. So you can use this just to make sure that the shutoff valve is working. And then after you have that set up, you should be able to do a final test and see if your leak sensor uh, triggers the water to shut off. So in summary, I think the system has worked pretty well for me. I have uh, 10 leak sensors around the house and, you know, restrooms by the dishwasher, behind the uh, washing machine. And I think the most expensive part of the project is definitely the leak sensors themselves. That was probably about at least half the cost for me. Uh, finding a six pack is a good deal. Sometimes Insteon.com has uh, good deals as well. The uh, most challenging part of the project, I think, was the water shutoff valve, especially getting this connected without leaks. That was a struggle at first until I found the right amount of uh, tape and uh, Teflon tape and pipe dope, and then finally it uh, stopped leaking. I think the app is pretty responsive whenever a leak happens, and then this turns red, and to reset it, you dry it off, hit the button, and you'll see that it turns back white again. As soon as a leak occurs, you will see the I.O. link go from red to white, and so red means on. In addition to it automatically shutting off, you can also manually control the I.O. link, so if I were on the app, I could press right here and I would see an on and an off, and so you can also use it to shut off the water uh, if you're leaving for vacation or something. I have left links for all these things down below in the description. Like and subscribe, blah blah blah, all that good business, and hope this was helpful.